Good evening and welcome to Northwestern State University and Prather Coliseum for tonight's game featuring the champion Christian College Tigers and your Northwestern State Lady Demons. At this time, we ask that you please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Fans, now let's meet tonight's starters. Brought to you by our sponsors at Exchange Bank. First, for the visiting Tigers. Five foot and a senior. From Brownsboro, Texas, number two, Nay Manning. Six one and a senior from Las Vegas, Nevada, number 11, Destiny Gonzalez. 5'6 and a junior from Hot Springs, Arkansas, number 15, Amani Honey. 5'5 five, five and a senior from Kansas City, Missouri, number 20, Sakia Bannister. And 5'8 and a senior from El Paso, Texas, number 23, Alisa Gonzalez. The Tigers are coached by head coach, the Anthony Ellison, and assistant coach, Amelia Harris. And now, on your feet to welcome the starters for your Northwestern State Lady Demons. At guard, 5'5", five, five, and the junior from Corner, Alabama, number three, Giselle Woodson. At guard, 5'6", and a graduate student from Abbeville, Louisiana, number five, Monette Bolton. At guard, 5'7", and a senior from Dallas, Texas, number 15, Candace. Paramore at guard, 5'7 and a freshman from Huxley, Iowa, number 22, Josie Fleischman. And at center, 6'1 and a junior from Eagle River, Alaska, number 24, Jordan Todd. The Lady Demons are head coach, are coached by head coach and uh, Nims, assistant coach Lisa Alshai, Mike Brown, Mike Pittman, and Adrian Valadez. 5.2%. Giselle Woodson is shooting 52% from three point range. That is a team high and a really remarkable number at this point in the season. Candace Paramore knocking down 95% of her shots at the free throw line. And your leading rebounder is Jordan Todd at 9.3 rebounds per contest. Both teams taking the floor here. The Lady Demons wearing all white tonight. Champion Christian in the dark blue. An opportunity for the Lady Demons to get on to their best start through 11 games since the 05-06 season if they can take care of business here tonight against champion Christian. 
Jordan Todd is set to jump it off. Jordan Todd at number 15, Imani Honey will jump it. No contest from Honey. As NSU opens up the contest with the ball in the hands of Giselle Woodson to Bolden at the top of the key, swinging to the left wing. Now down to the left corner to Woodson. Woodson tries to fit a pass down low to Jordan Todd. Todd cannot get her hands on it, and the ball goes out of bounds. An opening turnover for the Lady Demons here against Champion Christian. The pass from Woodson was deflected on the way to Jordan Todd, and she couldn't handle it. Champion Christian breaks some pressure early from NSU. Then number 20 is going to take a runner down the lane. That's Bannister. Bannister's shot is missed, and the ball bounds all the way back out near half court where Nay Manning picks it up, then drives into the lane and knocks down a jumper just outside the paint. Nay Manning, the senior, with the first bucket of the contest as NSU trails 2-0. to zero. Woodson brings it past half court for NSU. Hands off to Fleischman on the left wing. Fleischman dribbling across left to right. Picks up her dribble. Drops it off for Jordan Todd at the free throw line. Todd trying to drive right. She'll be blocked. Blocked by Destiny Gonzalez. And now making a move on the other goal is Imani Honey. Honey. Trying to go coast to coast right there, unable to convert. But the basketball will stay with champion Christian. And Nay Manning will take it out on the baseline for the Lady Tigers. Manning gets it into a wide open Elisa Gonzalez. She was just standing there by herself underneath the basket. And she puts in the shot attempt. It's now a 4-0 lead for champion Christian. Giselle Woodson being double teamed as she comes across half court. Honey had come all the way up to kind of double her on her right there. Now they back off. Man defense here for Champion Christian. Woodson dribbles to the right wing, picks up her dribble, then drops it off in the lane for a cutting Candace Paramore who pulls up at the free throw line and knocks down the jumper. And NSU is on the board thanks to the assist from Giselle Woodson and the basket by Candace Paramore. Pass down into the right corner for Champion Christian and a three ball on the way for Gonzalez is good. Champion Christian. Seven quick points in the contest, and they lead the Lady Demons by five as Woodson brings it past half court. Woodson dribbles into the lane, thought about a step back, now sends it outside to Paramore. Paramore takes a jumper just off the right elbow. It's no good, rebounded by Champion Christian, coming the other direction, and Monette Bolden will commit a foul as Skya Bannister was working her way down the court. That'll be a foul against Bolden and Bannister. They're going to say that was on the shot. I thought for sure that would be on the floor. I did not think Bannister was able to collect and get a shot attempt, attempt up there, but it was on the other end of the court for me. And that will send Bannister to the line for two free throws. First foul of the contest against Bolden. First foul against the Lady Demons in general. Carmela Dean checking in. Jemiah Braxton comes in. Jasmine Dixon in as well along with Jordan McLemore. So the only Lady Demon to stay in the contest as the first free throw is missed is Monette Bolden. Second free throw is good. It's now an eight to two lead here early on for champion Christian. As Bannister knocks down the free throw, her first point of the contest, Carmela Dean. Into the game, brings it past half court for NSU, finds Jasmine Dixon, then a pass to Jordan McLemore in the lane, hits a turnaround, and it's now an eight to four contest. Caught it on the left elbow, spun back to the right, and knocked down kind of a fadeaway jumper there. Now an eight to four game. McLemore picking up defensively on Gonzalez, kick to the left corner. Honey driving left to right across the lane, then drops off a beautiful pass down low for Destiny Gonzalez. Gonzalez finishes off. The good pass with a bucket and then stolen away. Carmela Dean has it taken away by Nay Manning right at half court. An easy theft by Manning as the turnover is committed by the Lady Demons. It's now a 12 to four contest. Bolden takes a right hand runner in the lane and gets it to go in traffic. Beautiful finish by Monette Bolden. She has been truly the offensive catalyst for NSU much of this season and always kinds of kind of seems to be the one that writes the ship for NSU when they need it offensively. 12 to six, 6.45 to play. Manning working away to the left wing, trying to get a pass across the court. Caught by Bannister driving left and then forces one up with the left hand. 
And a foul here called against number 23, Jemiah Braxton. Second team foul on NSU will send Bannister back to the line for the second time. Jemiah Braxton, five foot seven senior guard out of McKinney, Texas, picking up her first foul in the contest. Free throw on the way from Bannister, bounds around and out. Second free throw on the way, this one is good. Just like the first trip to the free throw line, misses the first, makes the second. 13 to six, the lead for the Lady Tigers over your Lady Demons, 6.35 to play here in the first quarter. Carmela Dean brings it past half court, dribbles to the free throw line, then sends it back outside to McLemore. McLemore driving down the lane, tried to force up a really tough shot. It was stolen away by the Lady Tigers, run out on the other end. Free throw attempt is missed off the mark, but Jasmine Dixon cannot secure the rebound, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Dixon. Dixon will check out as Jordan Todd re-enters. Well, champion Christian has ambushed the Lady Demons a bit here early on as NSU trails by seven. Good pass down low to Gonzalez off the inbounds pass, and Jordan Todd commits the foul on the way up on Gonzalez. So Jordan Todd picks up her first. That's now the third team foul against NSU, and that will send the senior center, Destiny Gonzalez, to the free throw line. First free throw on the way from the center. Halfway down, bounces around, and that time it finds its way down. 14 to six now. An opportunity to increase it to nine if this second free throw falls for Gonzalez, and it does. 15 to six, 619 to play. In the opening frame, NSU nearly loses the ball out of bounds, trying to pass it ahead to Monad Bolden, but it was off the Lady Tigers. Bolden gets it in play to Dean, being defended by Manning. Screen coming from Jordan Todd, and fouled. Driving down the lane is Carmela Dean. That'll be a foul against number 11, Destiny Gonzalez. That'll be her first, first team foul against the Lady Tigers. Giselle Woodson comes back into the contest along with Candace Paramore, Braxton, and McLemore both checking out. Dean, Todd, Woodson, Paramore, and Bolden on the floor for NSU. In play to Paramore on the left wing, down low to Jordan Todd. Todd working from left to right. Right hand lay in is no good, a little bit too strong. Rebounded by Bannister. Bannister, one hand pass ahead to the left wing to Gonzalez. Down low now to Destiny Gonzalez, working against Jordan Todd. Over the top of Todd, it falls with the right hand for Destiny Gonzalez. And that is gonna call for a timeout from Anna Nims. Anna wants to talk it over with the Lady Demons. And that will send us to the media timeout with 5.49 on the clock, NSU trailing 17 to six right now to the champion Christian Lady Tigers. We'll be back. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Super One Foods is proud to be named the official grocery store of the Northwestern State University Demons. No matter where you gather to watch the game, we've got everything you need at Super One Foods, all at super low prices. Plus, you can order online and enjoy same-day pickup with our convenient curbside service. Talk about a game changer. Score big when you shop at Super One Foods, your official NSU Demons grocery store. NSU has made me confident that I can go into the world and make a difference. Through being a part of student media, I've gained experience that I will hold on to after I graduate. Come see why NSU is the place where you fit. And as always, Forkham Demons. I love Northwestern because everyone's always willing to lend a helping hand. Here I have the opportunity to explore my passions to meet new people every single day. So come and see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demons. 
back here in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Your Northwestern State Lady Demons currently trailing champion Christian 17 to six. NSU is 17 and one over the last five seasons against non D1 opponents. They've got some work to do here as they've fallen behind by 11 early to champion Christian. Right now the Lady Tigers are six for nine from the field. NSU is three for six, leading scorer for the Lady Demons at this point is Paramore, Bolden, and Macklemore, each with two. Giselle Woodson brings it past half court for NSU. Kick over to the left wing to Paramore. Paramore driving right, knifing down the lane. Off the front of the rim is her shot attempt a little bit short, and a jump ball will be called here as NSU and the Lady Tigers battling for possession. The arrow in favor of champion Christian, so the Lady Demons will lose possession at the 535 mark, trailing by 11. The ball put back in play to Nay Manning. Manning being defended by Woodson. NSU watches a jumper on the way from Honey at the free throw line. It's no good. Rebounded by Jordan Todd. Todd to Woodson. Woodson bringing it down the lane all the way. Giselle Woodson just blew past everyone after receiving the pass from Jordan Todd and she lays it in with the right hand. The lead back to single digits now, 17 to nine. Nay Manning working against Candace Paramore and Paramore will commit a foul and one. The speed of Nay Manning just went right around Candace Paramore. Paramore a little bit too much body as Manning went up for the shot and Manning spun it in and now she'll head to the line with an opportunity to complete the three point play. Biggest lead of the contest. Sits at 11, looking to make it 12, and Manning does 20 to eight. NSU looking at their largest deficit of the contest. Woodson dribbles all the way to the right wing, back to the top of the key to Bolden. Bolden will be fouled as Bolden was trying to take Manning off the dribble. So that'll be the second team foul against champion Christian. Woodson will take it out on the baseline. Fleischman, who just checked back into the contest, was open at the top of the key. They'll get it into her on the right wing. Back to Bolden at the top. Bolden driving right, working against Honey. Turnaround jumper on the way from the free throw line is good. Great work by Monette Bolden. The leading scorer for your Lady Demons. She's averaging nearly 17 points per contest over her last five. And she's averaging 13.6 on the season. Now offensively on the other end, a great find down low as Elisa Gonzalez was wide open underneath the basket in the lead back to 12. Woodson down low, working through traffic. She'll be fouled on the way up. Giselle Woodson heading to the line for two free throws. This will mark the first free throws of the game for NSU. Jemiah Braxton checking into the game for Fleischman. Cummings checking in as well. Number 12, Osha Cummings, the 5'5 sophomore guard from Zachary. But right now it's Woodson at the line with a chance to knock down two free throws. The first one is off the front of the rim, no good. Woodson. Knocks down the second free throw. NSU being doubled up here, 22 to 11, 4.23 to play in the first quarter. Manning brings it past half court. Paramore defending. Swing to the left wing. Stolen away by Giselle Woodson. Great theft there by Woodson. Pass ahead to Paramore and she lays it in high off the glass with the left hand. Big time steal by Giselle Woodson, a great find. And a good finish by Candace Paramore, kissing it high off the glass. It's a big possession there for NSU on the defensive end, leading to two points. Manning takes a long range three and knocks it down. Nay Manning from way outside, getting those points back immediately for the Lady Tigers. The lead back to 12. Woodson to Paramore on the left wing. Paramore driving left, working her way down the lane, tried to flip one up with the right hand. Gets a late whistle here as Paramore was knocked down. They're gonna say that was on the shot as well. She kind of changed directions and looked like to me she wanted to make a pass right there. But it will be whistled as a foul on the shot. That'll be the third team foul 
against the Lady Tigers and will send Candace Paramore to the line for the first time in this contest. Paramore, the leading free throw shooter on the season for NASU, making 95.1% of her free throws. That number will increase as she hits the first. 25 to 14, 332 to play. Paramore's second free throw is on the way and good. And she continues to just be perfect at the free throw line. Number 12, Aaliyah Clark has just come into the game for Champion Christian. Over to Nay Manning on the right wing, working against Paramore. Back over to Clark. Cross court pass to Manning in the right corner. Stolen away on the second pass by Paramore, and she will take it all the way by herself. Candace Paramore with the interception and the lay in on the other end. NSU has cut this lead down to eight as Champion Christian gets the basketball back. Manning brings it past half court to Clark on the right wing. Nearly tipped again by Paramore. NSU's defense has definitely cranked it up a notch and the ball will be knocked off of Gonzalez and out of bounds. And Lisa Gonzalez was trying to battle her way through defenders in the lane and NSU got a hand in there, knocked the ball off of Gonzalez and out of play. 2.45 to play. NSU trying to cut into this eight point deficit. Woodson dribbles to the left wing, picks up her dribble. Screen for Paramore who catches at the top of the key. Three ball is on the way and off the right side of the rim. Rebounded offensively by Jordan Todd. Kick outside to Osha Cummings. A jumper on the way from just inside the three point line is good by Osha Cummings. Assisted by Jordan Todd. NSU's offense starting to wake up a little bit here. Nay Manning, top of the key, kick over to number three, Rebecca Farmer, who buries a triple, a catch and shoot three from Rebecca Farmer. Farmer, the five foot seven senior guard out of Elgin, Texas, has her first points of the contest, and the lead is back to nine. Cummings takes the handoff on the right wing, now hands off to Paramore on the left wing. Jordan Todd to Braxton at the top, three ball on the way is a little bit short. Tremendous rebound by Giselle Woodson going up to take that basketball away from Manning. Now down low to Jordan Todd. Todd spinning left and finishes with the left hand. Great move by Jordan Todd working down low. 28 to 21, a football score here with 138 remaining in the first quarter. Ball sent down into the right corner. Back towards the top and stolen away by Woodson. Woodson with her second interception. Two steals now for Woodson, kicks it to the right corner to Paramore. Paramore's three is gonna be a little bit off the mark and hit off the front of the rim. Now she'll get the ball back outside once again, driving down the lane and she'll be met by hard contact down low as she was trying to attack the rim. That'll send Paramore back to the line for two free throws. And it will also push champion Christian into the bonus as that's the fifth team foul. Elisa Gonzalez picking up her first as she met Candace Paramore with some contact down low. 28 to 21, Paramore back to the line. She's now three for three in the contest. Candace Paramore, the five foot seven senior guard out of Dallas, Texas. Misses that one off the front of the rim. Nice offensive rebound by Cummings. Back up to Woodson. Woodson, right hand runner in the lane. It rolls in and out. Could not quite convert a pass ahead to Manning. Is poked away by Braxton, but Nay Manning will get it back. Now driving down the lane, nearly traveled right there. I thought she slid that plant foot, but able to kick it back outside to Honey. Now to Clark on the right wing, being defended by Braxton. Great defense by NSU, and another interception. This time it's Giselle Woodson again with the steal. Pass ahead to Paramore, and Candace Paramore lays it in. Three steals by Giselle Woodson. On two of those steals, she has found Candace Paramore running the floor, and the lead has been cut all the way down to four as the NSU defense has really turned it up at the back, back end of this first quarter. Defense leading to offense. That's now nine points off of turnovers for the Lady Demons. They have four stills in the contest. 
They have Giselle Woodson right now in the book with only two steals. She has three steals from what I have seen here. But four steals right now in the book for NSU. Paramore with one, Todd with one, and Woodson with two. Maybe, maybe I'm a bit off somewhere, but I had three for Woodson in my mind. Either way, it's the defense that has helped NSU fight their way back into this contest. Champion Christian right now is 10 of 14 from the field. They're shooting 71%. They're a perfect three for three from three point range and they're five for seven at the free throw line. So they have been very good scoring the basketball early. We are back in play, 14 seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Manning catches left wing to Honey now on the right wing, back to Manning at the top. Poked away by Paramore and out of bounds. Some lazy passing by the Lady Tigers over the last couple of minutes. And the active hands of this NSU defense has done a great job of getting in those passing lanes, creating deflections. Right wing, left wing, jumper on the way from Clark. It's a long three, it's off the front of the rim, rebounded by Woodson, the shot clock is off. 15, 14. Woodson gonna pull it all the way back out as Anna Nims wanted to hold for the last shot here. Woodson blows by the defender, loses the handle on the basketball. Outside to Cummings, three ball on the way from Osha Cummings is a little bit too strong off the back of the rim. And we will end the first quarter with champion Christian ahead, 28 to 24. The Lady Tigers shoot 67% from the field as they lead your Lady Demons by four as we head to the second quarter. 28-24, we'll be back with some second quarter action. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. Back at Prather Coliseum, Northwestern State trailing champion Christian 28 to 24. A hot shooting performance to open up the contest for the Lady Tigers. They go 10 of 15 from the field. They were three for four from three point range and five of seven at the free throw line as they put up 28 first quarter points. May Manning leading the way with 10 points. The defense started to pick it up for NSU at the back half of that first quarter. They end up forcing five turnovers, four of which were steals, which led to nine points for the Lady Demons. NSU, 10 of 19 from the field. They're 0 for 4 from three-point range. And the last time they were at home against Tarleton State, they did not make a three-pointer in that contest, I believe. Um, and they are right now 4 for 6 at the free throw line. Your leading scorer is Candace Paramore with 11 points on 4 of 8 shooting. We are underway here with the second quarter. Bolden, Woodson, Paramore, Braxton, and Dixon on the floor together. Right wing, now back to the left wing to Woodson. Pump fakes, then goes right, driving down the lane and flips one up with the right hand and in. Beautiful finish, driving down the lane there by Giselle Woodson, showing off the offensive prowess. Now onto the other end of the court, Clark catches on the left wing, driving left to right, kick outside to Farmer, long three on the way by Rebecca Farmer is no good off the front of the rim. And the rebound is secured by Jemiah Braxton. Ahead to Paramore, back to Braxton, who was trailing behind. Back over to Paramore in the right corner. Paramore looking to find someone to get it to. She'll move it back to Braxton. Left wing jumper on the way from Bolden is good. Assisted by Jemiah Braxton. They left Bolden alone for just a moment, and she is not going to miss that shot. NSU has taken the lead back, 29 to 28. But Destiny Gonzalez wants the lead back in her possession as she hits a nice turnaround and the lead back into the in favor of champion Christian. 30-29, Woodson driving down the lane and finishes again with the right hand through traffic. This time on the right side of the lane. 
finishing over two defenders, banking it off the glass. A beautiful finish by Giselle Woodson. She has been great on the offensive end here today. Monette Bolden is going to pick up the foul on the other end as Imani Honey was working her way down the lane trying to attack the rim. Bolden commits the foul. That'll be the first team foul against the Lady Demons here in this second quarter. And it will send Imani Honey, a junior from Hot Springs, Arkansas, to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Honey so far 0 for 2 in the contest, but now has her first point as she makes that free throw. 31-31, dead even here. Second free throw on the way and good, breaks the tie. Number 21, Alicia White has checked into the contest for the Lady Demons here, getting her first action. Catches over on the right wing. Now to Dixon who was fouled from behind by Gonzalez. Dixon caught the ball just above the free throw line and got bumped a little too much by Destiny Gonzalez. That is her second and the first team foul against champion Christian. White puts it in play to Woodson. Defended by Farmer. Woodson driving to the right elbow. Outside of the right wing to Paramore. Now to the left corner to White. She's driving baseline with the left hand and has her shot rejected by Gonzalez. But the block goes into the hands of Paramore. Now down low to Jasmine Dixon. And a foul called against champion Christian. It will be on number 11, Destiny Gonzalez. So she picks up her third. She has a great block. And then she picks up a foul. That'll send Takira Fuller into the game. Five foot 11 junior center out of Rayville, Louisiana. Woodson takes it out on the baseline. Gets it in to the top to Paramore. Paramore looking for Dixon down low, but the pass is knocked out of play by Fuller. Great play design there by NSU. And Paramore and Dixon nearly connecting on that. But at the last second, Fuller flashing across and knocks the ball out of bounds. Nice cut towards the basket by Candace Paramore. And Giselle Woodson finds her for the lay-in. NSU back in front by one as Woodson and Paramore have really found a great connection here early on. Poked away from behind by Paramore. The steal into the hands of White. Now Paramore running the floor. She'll force it up with the left hand. Foul from behind and one. Candace Paramore working hard on the defensive end. Getting the deflection, then running the court at full speed, gets the pass ahead and finishes with the left hand. And now she's got a chance to extend this lead for NSU. 35 to 32, and Paramore at the line, looking to finish off the old fashioned three point play. Well, she has been brilliant so far in this contest. 15 points make it 16 points for Candace Paramore, six for 10 from the field. She's got two steals and she's four for five at the free throw line. Bannister brings it past half court, now to the left wing to Manning. Handoff, nope, she'll fake the handoff and flip it over the top to Bannister. Now to Farmer, way above the key. Passing it around, back into the hands of Honey. Honey tried to fit a pass down low, deflected by Dixon, then into the hands of Bannister. Bannister will force up a shot that is no good and rebounded by Jasmine Dixon. Good work down low by Dixon defensively and then securing the rebound. Now Woodson drops one off for Dixon as she drives down the lane. And the lead goes up to six for NSU as Jasmine Dixon lays it in, assisted once again by Giselle Woodson. Woodson now with five assists in the contest. She has five of the nine assists for NSU. Honey catches at the free throw line. She will be fouled by Woodson. First personal foul against Giselle Woodson. Second team foul for NSU. Rebecca Farmer will check out as number 13, Justice Irish Holmes will check in for champion Christian. Nay Manning catches in the left corner, driving down the baseline with the left hand. Shot is missed. Rebounded by White. White's pass ahead is deflected straight up into the air and then stolen away by Bannister. Bannister kicked to the left wing. Driving around is Honey, driving through two defenders, through three defenders, and then will be fouled on the way up by Jasmine Dixon. Actually, they're going to call it on number 21, Alicia White, 
So it is White that picks up the foul. That will send Imani Honey back to the free throw line. Two points in the contest. Both have come at the free throw line so far. Now two of three at the free throw line as the first rattles around and out. 6.24 on the clock. 38-32 Northwestern State sitting on their biggest lead of the contest. Now 38-33 as the second free throw falls for Honey. Woodson quickly with the pass ahead to Braxton on the left wing. Back to Woodson. Woodson nearly lost the handle. Gets it back. There's Braxton. Nice pass to White who's cutting down the lane. White's shot is a little bit short, but an offensive rebound into the hands of Paramore. Her putback is no good. Then she finds Woodson knifing down the lane. Her shot attempt is off the front of the rim short as well. And now champion Christian coming the other way, led by Imani Honey. Big block by Jasmine Dixon. Honey tried to go coast to coast with it. Jasmine Dixon was having none of that, and she blocked that with absolute authority. Paramore now at the top of the key to White on the left wing. White working against Bannister. Kick back to Paramore. Paramore has it knocked away by Nay Manning. The ball is loose near half court. Picked up by Bannister. Then Bannister kicked the basketball out of bounds. Both teams would like to have that back. Turnover by the Lady Demons and then a turnover by Champion Christian as they were trying to create a fast break opportunity. Not the cleanest of basketball right there in that possession for either side. Giselle Woodson brings it past half court for NSU. Wide catches at the top of the key. Now to the right wing to Paramore. To Braxton on the left side. Braxton driving left kick outside. Woodson wide open in the corner. On the way is the three ball. It's no good. Too strong. And rebounded by champion Christian. Imani Honey brings it past half court. Over to Nay Manning on the left wing. Working against Paramore, screen coming, driving down the left side, will force a shot up. It's a little too strong off the back of the rim, rebounded by Honey, and then Honey's pass down low to an open Fuller who lays it in. Northwestern State's lead shrinks to three. Inside, five minutes to play now, 4.50 on the clock. 38-35, Woodson at the top, to the right wing to Paramore. Jordan Todd cuts to the elbow and catches, then drops it down low for White. White on the way up will have the shot knocked out of bounds, blocked out of bounds there. White will check out. Actually, we have reached the media timeout here. 4.42 on the clock. Northwestern State, after trailing in the first quarter, has roared back here in the second, and they now have a 38-35 lead at the media timeout. We'll be back with the conclusion of the second quarter. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. I love Northwestern State because of the endless opportunities they've given me, even as a first year student, to make a difference and feel a part of my university. Come see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demons. Northwestern State University offers you the flexibility to take classes and complete coursework on your own schedule with support from a network of caring faculty, staff, and fellow students. NSU is now offering a flat rate tuition exclusively for online learners. Northwestern State University is nationally recognized for quality, affordability, and student support. To explore our online degree programs and register for classes, visit nsula.edu slash ensu. I love NSU because it's given me a family of people who challenge me to try new things and encourage me to be a better person. Come see why I absolutely love this place. And as always, Forkham Demons. Four forty-two remaining in the second quarter. Northwestern State has clawed their way back in front here, 38 to 35. I do want to mention that I see Carmela Dean on crutches behind me here. She just walked behind and she's now working her way back to the bench. But Carmela Dean is most certainly on crutches. Something to take note of here as we progress through this contest. And obviously when we turn the page to conference play on Saturday against Southeastern. Champion Christian shot 67% in the first quarter. They're at 28% here so far in the second. Two for seven from the field, including one miss from three-point range. NSU has outscored champion Christian 14 to seven so far in the second. And the Lady Demons are six for 12 from the field in the second frame. 
Bolden will take it out on the baseline as we are back in play. Gets it to Todd, right back to Bolden in the left corner, working her way to the left wing. Now driving with the right hand down the lane, kick outside, right corner. Three ball on the way from Paramore is no good off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Bannister. Coming the other way now are the Lady Tigers. Honey being hounded by Giselle Woodson. Her defensive intensity is always at its peak. Left corner three on the way and good. That is number 13, Justice Irish Holmes, who just checked into the contest before that timeout, making her presence felt as she knocks down the corner three. And we are tied at 38. Woodson to Paramore. Now to Todd at the right elbow, back to Woodson at the top, being defended well by Manning. Now to the right wing, 13 to shoot it. Jordan Todd catches in the middle, outside to Jordan McLemore. Three ball on the way for McLemore is too strong. Rebounded by Bolden, and Bolden with a little reverse lay-in underneath the basket. Puts NSU back in front, 40 to 38. Bannister catches left corner, back to the top of the key to Manning, to the left wing. Long three on the way from Imani. Honey is no good off the back of the rim, rebounded by Candace Paramore. Paramore, outlet pass ahead to Bolden. Bolden underneath the basket, catches, and then drops it off to a running Jordan Todd, whose shot attempt is a little bit too strong, but poked away from behind. Giselle Woodson comes up with another big play there. It was going to be a rebound for the Lady Tigers, but Woodson broke it up. And the ball is now in the hands of Bolden, dropping it off down low for Jordan Todd. Todd is blocked from behind. And now the Lady Tigers will come out of there with the basketball. Kind of a weird moment there. But the Lady Tigers will now end up with a three-point shot attempt on the other end of the court from the left corner. That is no good. Rebounded by NSU. McLemore gets it to Woodson. Woodson. Calling for Paramore to come to the top and take it. She will. Now to Bolden on the left wing. McLemore cutting into the middle of the lane. The ball bounces off her right hand. Bounces around between three defenders. Ends up back with McLemore. And then she knocks down a jumper wide open in the middle of the lane. We'll take it. 42 to 38. NSU. Has their hands full a bit here with the Lady Tigers. They have been every bit up for the fight. To the right wing to Bannister. Back to the top to Nay Manning. A long three on the way for Manning. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Somehow Imani Honey comes out of there with the rebound. The ball is back into the hands of Honey after she lost it for a second. And now she will be fouled on her way up by number 24, Jordan Todd. Imani Honey working real hard down low, and it costs Jordan Todd her second team foul, or excuse me, second personal foul. That'll be the team's fourth foul. Elisa Gonzalez coming back into the contest for the Lady Tigers, along with Aaliyah Clark, while Imani Honey is at the free throw line. Honey knocks down the free throw. 42-39. 2.05 remaining. Second free throw matches the first. NSU's lead is down to a single possession, 42 to 40. Two minutes on the clock. Woodson to the left wing to Paramore. Back to Woodson at the top. Driving right down the lane, trying to find Bolden, who was open, cutting baseline. And the pass will be deflected out of bounds off of the Lady Tigers. Woodson will take it out on the baseline. She's got Fleischman at the top. Looks like she's open. Woodson ends up getting it into Paramore. Right back to Woodson on the baseline. Right hand jumper on the way and good. Little floater there by Woodson as she got the ball in play to Paramore. Paramore immediately got the ball back to her and Woodson knew what to do with it. 44 to 40, 140 on the clock. Clark catches left wing. Thinking about a three, dribbling around. Now she'll launch a long range three. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Monette Bolden. Bolden brings it past half court, leading the charge for NSU. She's gonna take it herself all the way, but she will commit the charge. A little bit too strong down the lane as the defender slid in front and got the feet set. That is the third personal foul on Monette Bolden. So Bolden picks up her third. I believe that is five against the Lady Demons, and it is. So that'll push Champion Christian into the bonus. 
Any fouls from here out committed by NSU will lead to shots for the Lady Tigers. Clark catches left wing. The pass is mishandled for a moment by Holmes. Now cross court pass, the left corner, three ball on the way is short by Gonzalez. Rebounded by NSU, coming the other way now is Candace Paramore. Paramore gets it past half court to Woodson, to Braxton, wide open in the left corner. Three ball on the way is no good. The rebound to Flashman, no, she can't handle it. Clark comes away with it, now leading the charge the other way, and going all the way is Aaliyah Clark, finishing with the left hand, 44 to 42 now, as Clark gets the run out there for the Lady Tigers. 20, 20 seconds basically separating the shot clock and game clock here. Paramore catches right wing, drives down the lane, tries to flip one up to Jasmine Dixon, and Dixon is pushed and fouled by number 15, Imani Honey. That should not be shots. One of the, okay, that is five fouls. That is, oh, no, now they're saying four. So they are changing their mind. I was about to say that should not be shots just yet. That should be their fourth foul. The foul was called on the floor. Shot clock will reset to 20. So now 15 seconds separating the shot clock and game clock here. Woodson will take it out on the baseline for the Lady Demons. Gets it in play to Paramore. Paramore with the right hand air balls. The shot attempt said that it was blocked. Now Clark leading the charge the other way. About a half a second separating the shot clock and game clock. And we have a foul on the other end against number 23, Jemiah Braxton. That will send Justice Irish Holmes to the free throw line. Second personal foul against Braxton. So Irish Holmes at the free throw line for the first time in the contest. She's one for two from the field, which was a three pointer. And she knocks down the free throw. Champion Christian, 11 of 14 at the free throw line. NSU is five for seven. Both free throws are good for Irish Holmes. Now with five points in the contest, and we are back to even, 44 to 44, 25.4 seconds remaining here in this first half. Northwestern State can hold for the final shot. Let's see, we'll see if they're able to seize the lead back here before we head to halftime. 14, 13, Woodson dribbling around at the top. Now to Dixon, just above the left elbow. The ball is knocked away on the pass to McLemore from behind. Champion Christian with the steal. Honey trying to lead the charge the other direction. Will force one up with the right hand. It'll roll around the rim and out. And we will be tied going to halftime. Your Northwestern State Lady Demons locked in a dead even contest here with the champion Christian Lady Tigers, 44 to 44. NSU and champion Christian battling it out in the first half. 